Finding out now with more than an hour of uh, walking on the moon uh, behind us. Buzz is making his way around the lamb, photographing it from various angles, uh, looking at its condition on all sides. Is it the energy expended, the heat rates, uh, the body temperature, the cooling system of the space suit? All of these things are working uh, right as they had planned them. There's been no Neil's still strain. occupied with the. Uh, That's of the rocks, of course, uh, which he seems to indicate, Wally, that uh, we're going to be able to go a lot farther. It a lot more exploration in the future flights. Without the uh, pain we've had with our old EVA, this uh, really is a great breakthrough. I believe that we're doing now better. 40 minutes time expended on the PLSS is now. I believe we're, they're doing better than predicted, only in that they're having a lot more motion than we anticipated. They're romping around up there. That's right. The slow movement that had been predicted has not taken place. All trample is just being sealed. Fifteen rocks sealed as samples, which these are the documented rocks, presumably the ones that they take up individually, photograph where they got them and how the conditions under which they picked them up, put them in a pouch with a proper number on it to identify and uh, uh, give them spe specifics. These aren't just the raw rock samples. Presumably they have completed that job and have a couple of boxes of those, which uh, mean 100 pounds or so of rock. Now they're getting the specific documented samples. Columbia, this is Houston. Go ahead, over. Transmission of Mike Collins uh, high above, 69 miles above them, uh, in the orbiting command module of Columbia. Uh, he said that he thought he saw a white object uh, down below that uh, Columbia, might be them, but on the other hand, it was on the rim of a crater, and he was sure that if that was the lunar module, they'd know that they were there on the rim of a crater. Roger out. 
suppose it could be, couldn't it, that the definition rule of a crater from 69 miles up, uh, if it were a shallow enough crater, might be uh, might be such that uh, they wouldn't recognize it? That is possible. It seems to me if uh, Mike would see it as a crater, that they'd see it as a crater, too. Uh-huh. Lighting's the same. You know, there's not much light on the limb itself, which may make it very difficult to see. Yeah. What we see here is uh, a very dim object. Just imagine what, what probably it would be to see from the yeah. spacecraft. Yeah, you've got that, just that little bit of reflected surface from this angle, anyway. Right? Associated press writer at the Space Center at Houston. He's got a wonderful lead on his story. Houston, uh, Buzz here. I'm showing uh, 3.78 FI. They, uh, he said they kept the whole world waiting while they dressed to go out. But once there, the whole world saw Neil Armstrong's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Light warming fingers. Uh, Keeping the whole world waiting while they dressed to go out. Beautiful line. It did take them almost uh, half again as long to prepare for that walk and on the moon as uh, they had planned for. Roger, and Neil has uh, 66%, so two, no flags, minimum cooling, and the suit pressure is 382. Houston, roger up. All sounds like good uh, figures, doesn't it? <laughs> very good. Particularly the minimum cooling, that, that's very consoling to see that perform so well. Neil has finished collecting and packing the bulk sample. Uh, Buzz, this is Houston. Have you removed the close-up camera from the Mesa yet? Over. Exciting to look at that first faltering step and see the great confidence they have now in just a little bit over an hour. That adaptability of man that you were talking about earlier, Wally, is adapted to the weightlessness of uh, space flight and now to the one sixth gravity of the moon in just an hour for these men. There's so many doubters about man's adaptability. It's, it's unbelievable. They're all members of the club now, but yeah. it was a hard fight years ago. Well, one of the arguments about not sending man up there is because he couldn't survive in the environment of space and on the moon. Uh, here's to that is our timeline after to be on. Roger, uh, it looks like you're about a half hour uh, slow on it. We're working on consumable uh, rover. Aren't you glad there are no chimpanzees standing there right now? <laughs> Set up by man, but as the first experimenters on the moon, first <laughs> explorers. 
They're running about a half hour behind the plan, as you heard there from Mission Control a moment ago, of uh, what they will do on the moon's surface. Uh, however, they, we heard a moment ago that they've finished packing the rock samples. Uh, we haven't heard of the, uh, of the deployment of the so-called early Apollo scientific experiments package. Uh, uh, Neil, this is Houston. Uh, to clarify my last, uh, your consumables are uh, in good shape at this time. The 30-minute reference was with respect to the nominal timeline. Over. Uh, these, that ESEP package includes the deployment of a by Aldrin of a passive seismology experiment. That's a uh, seismometer that they leave on the surface of the moon that will send back uh, for a period of time reports on uh, impact of the meteorites on the moon's surface of any earthquake activity on the moon. They'll also deploy a laser ranging retro reflector, it's called, which is a prism-like mirror uh, with which uh, lasers can uh, on Earth, and anybody can do it. Uh, uh, they don't have to be United States experimenters in the space program necessarily. If you've got powerful enough laser, and a lot of people do around the world, uh, you, you can uh, try to focus on that reflector. And with uh, a laser beam, that is the controlled beam of light uh, to the moon, uh, and the known time or the speed of light and the return of that uh, light signal through the prism mirror, uh, we will get measurements of the moon's wobble, of the Earth's wobble, even of the drift of our continents uh, from the, those measurements with laser. These are experiments yet to be deployed. on the surface now, uh, slightly over an hour and 20 minutes. Right. 